Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today digging into all these crazy teases coming out from Gearbox. We are only a few weeks away from PAX East and they are really turning it up on the social media. We're going to be looking at these multiple images that they've been putting out for more announcements coming at PAX. It's not just going to be the presumed Borderlands 3, which they did tease a few days ago. I do apologize for not getting to this sooner, but yesterday I was celebrating my one year anniversary with my girlfriend, so I hope all of you do understand. But now, let's get into this really exciting stuff, starting off with the first image to come after that Borderlands 3 tease, which says, time to tease another game for PAX, which seems to be a little motto happening at Gearbox, because it's looking like there's going to be three announcements at this point, maybe four if you include the Borderlands 1 remaster. But a lot of people were confused by this. They saw a robot-like figure lying down in what seems to be a lab, a lot of wires connected to it. What is happening here? Well, all we can do is really guess, but if anything based off the art style and also more importantly is the white glove on this robot, I would presume this is something we happy few related. It is still slated that they need to deliver on DLC for this game. We do know that Microsoft acquired Compulsion Games, developers of We Happy Few, but I don't believe that impacts the original contract that they had with Gearbox and Compulsion Games. The reason that's plausible is because we see the same thing happen with Obsidian. Obsidian announced the Outer Worlds even though that was after they had been acquired by Microsoft. The Outer Worlds is not exclusive to one console despite that acquisition, so I don't think Microsoft's acquisition of Compulsion Games will be intrusive on what's happening with the DLC for We Happy Few, so I imagine this will be a larger sized expansion considering that we had We Happy Few back in August, and man, I have never wanted to like a game more, but that one was a serious letdown, so I really hope they go back to the drawing board and do a significant expansion for We Happy Few. It was just narratively flawed, it really highlighted why I don't like procedural generation in some aspects, which I know sounds weird to say as someone who loves Borderlands, but that's because it's the guns, whereas the world space itself and the interactions you had in We Happy Few were all procedurally generated and there were nice bits of storytelling there but it was just really diluted by everything in between so I'm looking forward to seeing more because I want to see them get it right it's a universe that's so aesthetically pleasing you want to stay in it it captivates you because it's very unique it's very reminiscent of Bioshock and the concept of joy itself is actually fascinating and was a good core to the narrative to base it around they just needed to do a better job building characters and not having the moment to moment gameplay ruin what was coming up anyway that's just my speculation on one of the teases for one of the games coming at pax east next we see a pixelated image of maya at the dam where you rescue roland we can see the marcus statue in the background and once again time to tease another game for pax so there's two bits of speculation that have been going around based off the responses i saw on the twitter thread as well as what i've seen in my youtube comments which is a a nintendo switch game or b the port of the vr version from psvr onto oculus and so on my money is more so on a nintendo switch collection which i know may be contradicted by a comment randy pitchford made in 2017 of january where he said that they were talking to nintendo about borderlands 3 on the switch but that had stopped for some reason Number one, that's a very old comment. Number two, it has nothing to deal with what I'd imagine would be a handsome collection. I mentioned this a few videos ago, that it would just make sense to get Borderlands everywhere you can, especially if you can squeeze Borderlands 2 on the PlayStation Vita, which is not the most powerful system, albeit I love the console, but I think you can fit the handsome collection on the Nintendo Switch and it can run just fine. The only reason I think the image is pixelated is because I saw a lot of replies in this tweet saying, oh man, it looks like a 16-bit game or, oh, they're bringing it to the NES or the Game Boy Color. It always had this Nintendo association because the pixelation was there. And so I did wonder if that was intentional by Gearbox. And they may seem like a heavy bit of speculitis to you, but we're talking about the company that at 3 p.m. tweeted a picture with Exit 3 and Blood Writing saying March 28th. So I'm not going to let them pull a fast one on me here. I'm thinking that it's likely the Nintendo Switch collection. It makes sense. The Nintendo Switch is booming. Get more people playing Borderlands. And it wouldn't surprise me if we saw another time to tease another game for PAX and we saw a screenshot of Borderlands 1, which would likely be teasing the remaster. Out of everything we've heard rumor-wise, we hear nothing about We Happy Few. 
but so far they've hit the check mark on everything on most of our lists anyway it's looking more and more like borderlands 3 is not just going to be a little trailer announcement but that gearbox is really looking to make borderlands a bigger deal than ever and they're probably going to be dropping some serious gameplay it's really exciting stuff man so i'm so happy to be back covering this game now that we really got some substantial stuff to talk about i'd love to hear your thoughts on all these teases in the comments down below once again i do apologize for being a bit late to this news discussion and i'm looking forward to seeing what you all have to say be sure to follow me on twitter like me on facebook those links are in the description down below along with my patreon do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content i create here stay sexy stay active i love you all peace